Hey everybody, this is Steven, Project Manager here of Sweeney Controls. I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you received a panel from us recently and just opened it up to find the drawings and thought, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> okay, they can look a little extreme at first, but this quick video will get you started on how to make sense of them. With a few little hints, you'll be ready to wire it up in no time. Let's start with how the drawings are put together. The bulk of the pages at the front show you every piece of equipment, wire, terminal block, and fuse used to build the panel. These are the control schematics. You'll notice on the left side of each column there are a series of numbers. These are navigation guides, so when you see an arrow, this indicates a connection to a different page or relay block showing where other contacts tie into the system. When you see this, you'll know what sheet to go look on. So for example here we have 703. So this means we should go to sheet 7 and then we find line 703. You'll also occasionally see dashed boxes with notes next to them. Typically these are a piece of equipment that need to be connected up to the control panel. When the information is available at the time of production, terminal numbers on this equipment will be shown. Otherwise you'll see XX. In this case we have a level transducer. Typically, when you see a 4 to 20 milliamp or analog next to a device in a dash box, this means it will need a shielded twisted pair pulled to it. There's also a model or part number that's listed for each device that is provided by Sweeney Controls. Let's look toward the end of the drawing package and find the back panel layout. This drawing shows the actual mounting location of every major component in the control panel. You'll notice that the equipment numbers are also shown on this drawing so you can cross reference back to the control schematic to see how it's wired up. If you're looking for the physical size of the panel, you'll find it here. The last page of the package shows all the common symbols used in the drawing and what they mean. For example, the HOA shows that a contact is only closed in the hand position and open in the off and auto position. This can be a useful resource when something new comes up you haven't seen before. Now that you know you can read the panel drawings, the rest should be a piece of cake. If you have any other questions, Sweeney Controls is here to help. Good luck and be safe.